Good evening, we are on the 9th of September, the 9th of the 9th, 2021. I'm going to be continuing with my catching up. This is for the readings for the weekdays in ordinary time. 23rd week, year one, Wednesday. Although we celebrated the Blessed Lady's birthday, those readings are recorded, but these were not. So Wednesday, the first reading, I'll tell you all the readings first. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians 3, 1 to 11. The psalm is 144, verses 2 to 3 and 10 to 13. The response is verse 9, How good is the Lord to all! And the Gospel will be taken, the Holy Gospel, according to Luke, chapter 6, verse 20 to 26. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the letter to St. Paul, of St. Paul, to the Colossians. Since you have been brought back to true life with Christ, you must look for the things that are in heaven, where Christ is sitting at God's right hand. Let your thoughts be on heavenly things, not on the things that are on earth, because you have died and now the life you have is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ is revealed and he is your life, you too will be revealed in all your glory with him. That is why you must kill everything in you that belongs only to earthly life. Fornication, impurity, guilty passion, evil desires and especially greed which is the same thing as worshipping a false god all this is the sort of behavior that makes god angry and it is the way in which you used to live when you were surrounded by people doing the same thing but now you of all people must give up all these things up I'm getting angry being bad tempered spitefulness abusive language and dirty talk and never tell each other lies you have stripped off your old behaviour with your old self and you have put on a new self which will progress towards true knowledge the more it is renewed in the image of its creator. And in that image there is no room for distinction between Greek and Jew, between the circumcised or the uncircumcised, or between barbarian and Scythian, slave or free man. There is only Christ. He is everything and he is in everything. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Responsorial Psalm, How Good is the Lord to All, and the psalm is taken from 144. I will bless you day after day, and praise your name forever. The Lord is great, highly to be praised. His greatness cannot be measured. How good is the Lord to all. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, 
and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God. How good is the Lord to all! To make known to men your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign, yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. How good is the Lord to all! Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, for reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Fixing his eyes on his disciples, Jesus said, How happy are you who are poor! Yours is the kingdom of God. Happy you who are hungry, now you shall be satisfied. Happy you who weep, now you shall laugh. Happy are you when people hate you, drive you out, abuse you, denounce your name as criminal on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice when that day comes and dance for joy, for then your reward will be great in heaven. This was the way their ancestors treated the prophets. But alas, for you who are rich, you are having your consolation now. Alas, for you who have your fill now, you shall go hungry. Alas, for you who laugh now, you shall mourn and weep. Alas for you, when the world speaks well of you. This was the way their ancestors treated the false prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for listening. May God bless you and hear you. I'm sending you his peace and abundance. And may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And thank you once again for listening. And have a wonderful evening.